YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. Welcome back, guys, to another action figure review. A figure I've been very, 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 very much wanting to review. I just haven't had the time yet to pull the trigger on this guy. What are we talking about? We're talking about the Elite Collection WWE Network Spotlight Woken, yes, Matt Hardy figure. Now, I saw this guy on the shelf about a month ago when they released this guy at a, at a kind of redesigned Target. They're redesigning all these targets around to make them more flashier. I kind of give it more of a Sears appeal to it. They're redecoing and redesigning the entire store and they moved the toy section around a little bit and my target near me got both this figure right here and the Wrestlemania exclusive, this guy right here, Matt Hardy Elite figure. Now I had to pick which figure I wanted for my collection. I went with this one, the Wrestling Spotlight figure. Specifically, it had a higher price point. If I remember correctly, it was $22 or $24. I can't remember specifically the price, but I think it's 22 bucks. Compared to the WrestleMania figure at $19.99. You're gonna say, Rook, why'd you pick this figure here? I picked it mainly because it had more accessories. You get an extra set of hands, you get Scars Guard dilapidated boat, you get Vanguard One and a little hologram. Compared to the long trench coat, the Hardy uh, family name on the back of that trench coat, it has sort of the uh, leather straps going across it. Uh, I thought the, the design, the deco of the outfit looked really, really good, but I wanted this figure specifically because I liked the way it looked. This is based on the ultimate deletion with Bray Wyatt they did a few years back. And I thought this was a really cool figure to have. I don't have a Matt Hardy figure yet in my collection for an action figure from the Elite Collection uh, side, rather. But I said, I have to get this figure. With that being said, I'm going to do a full breakdown of this figure. I'm going to look at the packaging, the paint, articulation, and accessories, and conclude the final thoughts for you, the viewer. Why should you pick up the Woken Matt Hardy from the Network Spotlight series? Stay tuned, guys. We're going to a breakdown. All right, guys, we're in a breakdown segment looking at the Woken Matt Hardy Elite Collection WW Network Spotlight figure, which is a Target exclusive. And the very first thing we do in a breakdown segment is look at the packaging and presentation. Really cool packaging. They kind of spiffed it up a little bit for this release going forward, I believe, with the Network Spotlight figure. So if you come over here to the top, we have the Elite Collection symbol. We have the really cool FX face scan technology right here, which is a little bit off on this figure, which we'll talk about more when we get them out of packaging. Nice window box display. You can see the figure as well as all the accessories within. You have the network spotlight symbol right there. You have Matt Hardy right there at the bottom. Over here you have a nice shot of Matt Hardy. We come over to this side right here. Again, nice shot of Matt Hardy. Kind of pull back further. And the back of the packaging kind of showcases all the stuff about Matt Hardy. A little bio of the Woken Universe for Matt Hardy. Uh, you can read it right here. You can pause it and take a look at it for yourself. This is the figure takes precedence from the ultimate deletion, not the final deletion from Impact Wrestling. So take that with what you think it means. Um, again, this is the WWE E version of Matt Hardy, the Woken Matt Hardy. And at the bottom here, you have all the figures that are available in the Spotlight Series wave. We have Wendy Richter, Kurt Angle, of course, Woken Matt Hardy, and Ricochet. So that being said, let's get this guy out of packaging and continue the breakdown. All right, guys, we have Woken Matt Hardy out of packaging. The next thing we do when we take a figure out of packaging is look at the paint and articulation. Really, really cool figure with one really point that really kind of grinds my gear, so to speak. Let's first take a look at that face sculpt. That's what really kind of ticks me off. It's the, the FX face scan technology they're using here, but the goofy expression on Matt Hardy's face really, to me, is really kind of breaks the figure up for me. It doesn't look right for me. It looks really, really weird. I'm getting kind of closer. You can see what it looks like. I do like the white streak in the hair, which, of course, Woken Matt Hardy has, Broken Matt, as we all know him, really outside of WWE. Really cool look for him. He has this sort of normal uh, sleeveless shirt on and jeans, a uh, black sleeveless shirt and normal blue jeans across the figure, down the figure here, and like boots or sneakers, or actually more like boots he would have on here. So let's really kind of break down this figure as far as articulation goes. I haven't really messed with this figure yet, so this is a kind of first for me. Head spins 360, uh, no uh, up and down, there is up and down movement here, up and down on a, on a ball joint. Arms will spin 360, and they have those weird joints where they kind of will flex in. You can see the joint right here, it's open. So there's some room for the shoulder to give. So it is 360 right there on the shoulder. There's a single jointed elbow, it's not double jointed. Wrists will spin 360 as well as up and down movement. Now you may notice the hands here are open. There are two sets 
sets of interchangeable hands, which we'll talk about that shortly. Going down, he has a, uh, a ab crunch. You can go about, if we put him back here, you can go about that far here and about that far back with the figure. So you can get a little bit of range of motion with the double ab crunch. We'll spin 360 at the waist. Really good articulation there. Uh, legs, let's really talk about the legs, get the arms out of the way. Legs can go, you can get a decent kick with it. They will spin 360 at this thigh, at the thigh here. There's a joint right here where this joint, the whole leg doesn't spin. It looks like, well, it can spin. This whole joint can spin, maybe rotate? Yeah, it looks like it rotates, but it rotates above this joint. So there's a cut here where the hooks to the legs to the thigh, which is what I was getting at, and this whole piece spins here, which I like, because I've had many, many times, many occasions where I spun this leg off the joint. So it looks like the put a cut here intentionally or maybe to make mask it and make it look like a pair of jeans possibly but it spins here I like how it spins here not at this joint at the pelvis here at the actual hip joint I like that a lot better there is double jointed you can see it two pins right here in the knee so you get a nice double jointed knee right there I like that level of articulation feet will spin 360 and no up and down on this one so you get a real good amount of articulation on him uh, can you remove this vest you can. I'll maybe pull the arms up again if that is your next question. Is pinned in place. You can remove this vest from Matt Hardy if you wanted to do that. I do like the way he looks. To me, the, the buck feels correct, meaning he's not too overly bulky or too big like a Brock Lesnar or um, uh, any other big character for WWE. Uh, he looks correct for his phys physique, rather. It looks good for me, like an AJ Styles physique. Not overly bulky or big. I do like the way he looks. Now let's focus next Next on the accessories. All right, guys, accessories. This figure is packed with accessories, which is one reason why I picked this one up over the WrestleMania one. We have two pairs of interchangeable hands. I'll put a picture up so you can see also. Uh, we have these hands right here. They look really, really good. These are more of a gripped set of hands compared to the hands he has, which are on the figure by default, which are these sort of open hands. So you see right there, they're sort of open hands. He's, he's spreading his hand like that. Um, these are good hands if you just want to have sort of a, like a lightly closed grip. I do like that. The hands I'm going to definitely use on this figure are the pointing figures because that's the the leap he does, that gimmick he does. This will be absolutely displayed with this figure. I know for a fact I will display it with them. And I give you two pairs of them, left and right. I do like that. So you're not limited to one hand having the point. You can use either hand. I do like that. I think that's very, very cool to do something like that. Let's see how easy it is to take these hands off. They snap at the ball joint and they are very long pegged. I don't know if I can really showcase that off to you guys. It is a long, long peg. Let's see how it looks if we put it in here and how well it snaps in place. Hopefully it snaps pretty well. It snaps really well. And it does because this hinge is hinged here at the top of the wrist. You can bend it and spin it 360. So you can get the cool delete pose right there. The delete delete he does. So I do like that. I do think it's very, very cool having two hands to do for interchangeability of having, you can either do left or right for the, the delete hands. Do like that. I think it's a very good idea. Very easy to snap these on and off. You can hear it popping in. Make it close to the mic. You can hear it pop in and out. Do you like that? Very, very cool idea that Mattel did with those two sets of interchangeable hands. The other figure for WrestleMania, you only had one set, I believe. Next, let's take a look at Vanguard 1. Again, we'll put pictures up here so you can see it up close shots. Looks really, really cool. This is, of course, a drone. Probably, probably a very expensive drone if you're going to buy one of these in the wild. He does have a little camera. I don't know if you can see that right there. Hopefully, you can see it come across. Maybe with a little bit of extra paint or wash I could have done with this. I think that really would have helped pop this sort of accessory. Um, the blades do spin. You see them spin around. And there is an additional gimmick that works with this drone. And that's in the episode, I believe in the ultimate deletion and in final deletion, he had a hologram of Matt Hardy. Hopefully you can see that. There is a hole on top of Vanguard 1 right there. There's a peg point, like a little divot here. You can see it right there. That you, The idea is to pop this into the top of Vanguard 1. So the gimmick would look like this. That's what he did in the episode. He made a hologram version of himself. Very, very cool. Like what they did there. I'm probably going to leave it with this on it because that was the gimmick he did and I thought it was very, very cool. 
Next, the last accessory is the really cool one that scars guards a dilapidated boat. In the final deletion, uh, Jeff and Matt Hardy fought each other, and he hid, meaning Matt Hardy hid behind this boat when they're shooting fireworks at one another. So he basically had the boat positioned like this, like a shield. Uh, very, very cool idea. It is plastic, it is sculpted in place. There are some sculpts to it. There is some work, some divots you can see on the bottom of the boat here. Um, it, is, it is shaped like a boat. There's the back of it, or actually the front of it rather right there. Um, it is a decent sized boat. If you compare him next to the figure, if we look at the size of the figure, he's about as big as, he's bigger than the figure. If you look at, you know, as far as scales go, let's kind of go up this way so you can see kind of what I'm talking about here. I'll kind of interpose it so you can see what I'm talking about. So the, the figure is about a little bit bigger than the boat itself. So you get a lot of value packed into this figure. There's nothing else on the inside. There's no real seats. Uh, the idea is you could basically shield him. You could, it's a, it's a play set piece of what, you, what I'm getting at. It is durable. It is made of plastic. So it is solid, it's not going to break, it's not very fragile, it's very, very cool. I like all the pieces of accessories they packed into this figure. They give us a lot of value rolled up into this figure. We got two sets of interchangeable hands, total of three sets of hands total. We got the Vanguard one with the hologram. This is a really, really cool figure. I highly, highly recommend picking up the Woken Met Hardy from the Network Spotlight series. Uh, with that being said, let's go to final thoughts and wrap up this video. All right, guys, final thoughts on the WWE Elite Collection Network Spotlight Woken, don't call him broken, Matt Hardy figure. Love this figure. Think you should absolutely buy it. If you're a Matt Hardy fan, if you're a broken Matt Hardy fan or Woken Matt Hardy fan, which is what this figure is, I really recommend this figure. High amount of articulation, great accessories, the hologram, the Vanguard 1 with the propeller blades that do work, the Skarsgård, the dilapidated boat, very, very funny on the final deletion, and of course, ultimate deletion from WWE. Great, great figure. Love having two sets of interchangeable hands, not one set like the WrestleMania figure, this guy, again, right here. We have a lot of value packed into this figure for about $22, $24 US. Of course, it does sport the FX technology, which we mentioned before. Really, really like this figure. Now, should you buy the WrestleMania one? That's up to basically personal preference. If you want that outfit, get that figure. But if you had to pick between the two of them, go with this one over the WrestleMania one. I do hope you like this video review of, yeah. Yes, it's wonderful. Delete of broken or now woken Matt Hardy. Remember to click the like button at the bottom of the page. Click the subscribe button. We subscribe to the channel, click the bell, kind of be notified my latest videos. Of course, last but not least, you can click windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video. And bye bye.